All right, our database is in a good shape. Now the next step is to allow the staff at our imaginary video rental store to populate the list of movies. So we need to create an administration panel for them. However, when using Django, we don't have to do this manually. So all Django applications come with a powerful administration interface. Let me show you. So first, let's open up the terminal and run our development server. So Python manage.py run server. Okay, now back to the browser. Let's head over to slash admin. Look, this is the entrance to our administration panel. So by default, we get this login screen. This is coming from the auth app that is installed by default. Earlier, we talked about this settings.py. You saw the list of installed applications. The second app here is the auth app. So this is the app that knows all about authenticating users. And this login screen is implemented inside of that app. So as you can see, that app is a small reusable package that we are using in this project. By the same token, we can create small reusable apps that other people can use in their projects. Now back to our login screen. Currently, we don't have any users in our database. So the next step is to create a super user. Back in VS Code, I'm gonna open a new terminal window so we don't have to stop our server and restart it. So let's click this. Now let's run Python manage.py create super user. Let's enter a username. I'm gonna use admin with this email address and finally a password. Now, if we use a weak password like one, two, three, four, and one more time, this is gonna complain telling us the password is too short or too common, whatever. So here we can bypass the validation and go ahead or create a stronger password. For this demo, I'm gonna go with one, two, three, four. So yes, okay, super user created successfully, beautiful. Now back to our login screen. Let's log in with admin and one, two, three, four. Okay, so here's our administration panel. We can manage the list of groups and users. So we can put users in different groups like admins, moderators, guests, and so on. So let's go to the list of users. Here we get this beautiful table that shows all the users in our database. We can sort this list by various columns. We can filter them. We can search for users and so on. Now, back to the main page. Currently, we can only manage the users and groups. We cannot manage our custom models like genres and movies, but we can easily bring them here with only a single line of code. Let me show you. Back in our movies app, here we have this admin file, and this is where we register the models that we want to manage using our administrative interface. So let's open this file. All right, here we need to import our genre and movie classes. So from the models module in the current folder, remember, this period indicates the current folder. We need to import the genre and movie classes. Now finally, we're gonna say admin.site.register genre, and let's duplicate this line and register the movie class. So with these two lines, we're telling Django to register these models in the administration interface. So let's save the changes back in the admin. Let's refresh the page. Now we have these two models in our movies app. So let's go to the list of genres. In this list, we have one genre that is genre object one. What is that? Well, before recording this video, I created a genre record in the database. So here you can see that in our genre table, currently we have one record with ID one and name action. I created this just before recording this video. So this one that you see here is the ID of our genre record. Now this table is not very user friendly. It would be better if we had two columns, ID and name, and we could see the name of each genre right here. So in the next lecture, I'm gonna show you how to customize this administration interface.